if it seems that wildfires are burning nearly all the time these days, that there's no longer a definable fire season in California, you're right. Around 8 million acres of forest was burned this year, with a record of 60 million acres in just the last two decades. It seems obvious to most people that these wildfires need to be prevented and extinguished, at all costs. In the 90s, the United States Forest Service had an aggressive policy to not only prevent wildfires, but to extinguish any that started within no more than 24 hours. This was working great, and there was a sharp decline of the wildfires for decades. This however stopped around 1970s when the average blaze started burning hotter, faster, and much bigger than it used to. So, what went wrong? Fewer fires have led to denser, more flammable forests, packed with the combustible needles of old conifers, and the dry branches of dead or dying trees. Up to 90% of trees are dead in some places, with around 149 million dead trees spread throughout California. We are just stockpiling fuel for bigger and bigger wildfires, all the while delaying the inevitable. Wildfires unlike what we thought earlier are an integral part of the forest habitats. The trees are huge, and the canopy formed by them is dense. This makes it virtually impossible for new plants to grow, unless the old trees are burned partially or completely. The density of dead trees keep increasing without full-scale natural wildfires. Wildlife which remained mostly unaffected before a century are now suffering severely, due to this increase in fire severity. Seeds of trees like the bishop pine and sequoia have evolved to withstand high temperatures and only open when they are heated. Trees with thick layers of fire-resistant bark help them regrow after the fires are extinguished. The United States Forest Service has now started taking countermeasures in the form of controlled burning, use of machines to clear out the dead trees, and even leaving some natural fires to burn their course, if feasible. This seems to be working. The loss of trees during wildfires dropped from 92% to 47% in areas which were recently thinned by cutting and controlled burns. But so far, the vast majority of fire management funds are allocated to emergency measures rather than preventive ones. As counterintuitive it may sound, some wildfires are meant to burn. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Brainverse. Keep on learning.